Right then guys, today I'm going to show you how to modify a certain skimmer uh, to 3 inch with a pressure pipe flange tank connector. Um, so let's get straight into it. So the reason I like certain skimmers is for two reasons. One, they come with a, a large leaf basket um, which also doesn't block up too quickly. And the second reason is they go over a nine inch block wall. You just have to put a little bit of a cut in the, in the block work to allow for this support strut there. Right, so to do the modification, so as standard they come with a, a metric 50mm uh, outlet and a threaded 1.5 inch outlet. Obviously we will be removing these for this application today. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is down in the bottom of there is a little flap uh, with a screw. We need to remove that first. And that screw hole will actually act as our guide for our uh, hole saw. And then we simply need to chop these off, get them out of the way. You can do that with a hand saw. If I'm lucky enough I've got a multi-tool, so I'll get rid of those. And this little moulding piece here as well. chopped off, like said, about, leave about 10 mil. It's not got to be pretty because all that gets cut out shortly. And then somewhere in the middle. So just drilled that hole out in the centre between the two um, holes there. I'm going to do grab the hole saw. It's an 86 wheel hole saw for this, which should be the same size as that hole. tip for uh, uh, when you're using a hole saw on plastic like this, always have it on the screw setting and then out the clutch set to maybe 9 or 10 uh, and that just means if it, if it bites it won't snap it out of your hands or it won't rip the skimmer out of your hands as well. So then we're just going to drill that out as well. We've got that one to speed wheel. is just tidy up the bits that are left. Uh, when you do this, uh, when I do a four inch, I don't use a flange tank connector, I actually use a threaded tank connector. Um, and that just about removes all of this, but with a three inch you get left with a bit. So we're just gonna clean that up and get rid of that with the multi tool. And then we should be good to uh, get it stuck together. something like that. Now what I've done is I've re-drilled the screw holes uh, halfway between the inside flat, uh, tube and the, out and the existing holes so that just allows you to get a good fixing point um, in the skimmer uh, and you want to have it so that the, these pieces are here so you get all your screws in. So do is line that up. Hold that in place. Swap the drill bits over. I'm just going through with a three mil um, bit there. Just 
getting this lined up now. So just uh, cut the hole through. Screw that on, just kind of move around on me. Screw that on simply just to get the holes in the right place. doing because you I've kind of just drilled these randomly with just the mark on with an arrow or a knife just which way is the front so that way when you're going to put it all back together and the sealant it's all aligned right, I've got to drill the rest of these out now so that was a three mil bit to put these uh, pilot holes in and we're going to do a clearance hole through here uh, just to make them all a little bit bigger. Right, and then we've got our little, little arrow on there, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but that faces forward. So we know when we go to put it back together, we get that all lined up and the holes will all work, I'd say. So then what we've got to do, my speed of uh, I choose to use gold label for all my bond uh, sealing applications. Um, it's a nice bead of gold label around there. I'm lucky enough to have an electric one, so it makes it nice and easy to do. But obviously, uh, we've got the one shot, which is a one, one, one shot would probably be enough to do this. Um, what we do do is the gold label in the tubes, and you can use a normal tube, uh, silicon gun to do it. So you don't have to have one of these fancy. Uh, tools to do it. I've got one so it's just easier to do. It's a nice, nice healthy bead of uh, sealant around there and then we just got to realign that using the arrow that we popped on. Let's try and make sure we've got that uh, aligned. It can be a little bit fiddly just trying to get all the screw holes aligned. But uh, once you've got one in, it's not too bad then. There we go, there's one in. Again, you can do it with a screwdriver. Um, I've got an impact here, so just nip it up. You tend to work diagonally across the sealant. That will still need to push out now. Let's just 
just nicely beaded out around the outside all the way around so we know we've got a good seal on there and then on the inside I've just got to pat that flat with a wet finger it's just uh, come out into the opening a little bit just sort that now wet your finger and I find the gold label because it's a polyurethane not a silicon a wet finger and patting works well you try to go straight in with smudging it with your finger or most likely sort of grip to your finger and drag the circuit skimmer. That's, you know, good for gravity feeding them. The basket and everything won't touch it. It'll hang above it. Back in there like so. Um, we don't use the uh, flange ring. That goes in the bin. There we go. That's how we modify the gravity.